Hello everyone. Welcome to Javasumra Productions. In this tutorial, I will teach you how to use curves in Photoshop. Curves is a powerful tool that allows you to make precise adjustments to the tonal range of your images. Whether you want to brighten shadows or add more contrast, Curves can help you achieve the look you are going for. Adding a Curves Adjustment Layer First, you need to open the image in Photoshop. Then navigate to the Layers panel. If you don't see Layers panel in your workspace, to do that, go to Window and then Layers. Shortcut key is F7. By the way, if you want to learn how to use Layers panel in Photoshop, then I've added the tutorial link in the card on top of this video and below in the description. Now. At the bottom of the layers panel, click the icon that looks like half black, half white circle. This is the adjustment panel icon. Click on this icon and select curves from this list. This will add a curves adjustment layer to your image. Adjustment layer allows you to make edits non-destructively, which means you can always go back and adjust them later. Understanding the curves interface. The curve. The main part of the curves window is a diagonal line graph. This graph represents the tonal range of your image. The left side corresponds to shadows, darker pixels. The right side corresponds to highlights, brighter pixels. And the middle section represents midtones. The histogram. In the background of the graph, you might see a faint histogram. This shows the distribution of pixels across a tonal range, helping you visualize where adjustments will have the most impact. Histogram appearance is different for every image. Unique content. Each image captures a specific scene with its own lighting, colors and objects. This unique content is reflected in the distribution of pixels across tonal range, which the histogram visualizes. Tonal range variation. Some images might have a wider tonal range with bright highlights and deep shadows, resulting in the histogram spread across the entire axis. Others might be flat and low contrast leading to a histogram concentrated in the middle. Color distribution. The histogram can also reveal the color balance of an image. An image with lot of red might have a prominent peak in the red channel of the histogram. An image with a lot of blue might have a prominent peak in the blue channel of the histogram. An image with a lot of green might have a prominent peak in the green channel of the histogram. So, the histogram acts like a fingerprint for an image tonal properties, making it a valuable tool for photographers and image editors. Basic Curves Adjustments Lightning Shadows Click anywhere on the curve line in the bottom left section. Shadows Drag the point upwards. This will brighten the shadows in your image. Darkening Highlights Click on the curve line in the top right section. Highlights Drag the point downwards. This will darken the highlights in your image. Increasing contrast. To create a more dramatic image, add an S-shaped curve. Drag the middle point of the curve upwards to brighten the midtones. Then add two additional points on the curve. One on each side of the middle point. Drag the outer point slightly up or down to adjust the shadows and highlights further. Target specific colors. The curve tool also allows you to adjust individual color channels. Click the drop down menu next to RGB and choose a specific color channel. For example, reds, greens, blues. Then make adjustments to the particular color range using the curve line. Adjusting the red, green, and blue RGB curves separately in Photoshop allows you to make precise color corrections and creative edits to your image. Here's what happens when you modify each curve Red curve. Lifting the curve brightens the area with a lot of red in the image. This could be effective for making red objects, like flowers or clothing stand out more. Conversely, lowering the curve darkens reds. Adding a point and lifting it, this selectively brightens specific red hues. For example, if you lift a point in mid-tones, it brightens mid-tone reds without affecting the highlights or shadows as much. Green curve. Lifting the curve, Increases the intensity of green in the image. It can be useful for enhancing foliage or landscapes. Lowering the curve reduces the green presence. Adding a point and adjusting it. 
similar to the red curve, you can target specific green hues for adjustment. Lifting a point in the shadows might make shadows appear greener, while lowering a point in the highlights could reduce the greens in brighter areas. Blue Curve Lifting the curve brightens areas with a lot of blue, like skies or water. Conversely, lowering the curve darkens blues, adding a point and adjusting it. This allows for target adjustment to specific blue tones. Lifting a point in the highlights could make the sky a more vibrant blue, while lowering a point in the mid-tones could reduce the blue cast on skin tones. Overall Effects Color Correction By adjusting the RGB curves individually, you can target specific color casts in your image. For example, you can reduce the green color cast by lowering the green curves in the shadows. Color Balancing You can achieve a more balanced color look by adjusting the curves to even out the distribution of red, green and blue throughout the image. Creative Effects Going beyond basic correction, you can create artistic effects by pushing the curves further. For instance, significantly increasing the red curve can create a warm, dreamlike atmosphere. Tips and Tricks Use the eyedropper tool located at the top left of the curves window to target specific tones in your image for adjustment. Click and hold the Alt key by dragging a point on the curve to create a smooth curve instead of a sharp angle. You can add multiple points to the curve for more precise control over different tonal areas. Conclusion Curves is a versatile tool that can significantly enhance your photos in Photoshop. By understanding its basic function and practicing a bit, you will be able to control the tonal range of your images with precision and achieve stunning results. Thanks for joining this tutorial on Curves in Photoshop. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I will reply you as soon as possible. You can email me at javasumro1988 at gmail.com. Follow my Facebook page over here, Javasumro Productions. Follow my Instagram page over here, Javasumro Studios. If you want to see more tutorials like this, make sure you subscribe. If you enjoyed this tutorial, smash that like button and share this video with your friends. If you never want to miss any updates, click that notification bell icon. Now, I will see you in the next tutorial. Goodbye and take care.